the town hall meeting they had uh, on CNBC, uh, where a woman spoke directly to the president about her concerns. Uh, I want to play that and then get your reaction to it. So here we go. Quite frankly, I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted of defending you, defending your administration, defending the mantle of change that I voted for, and deeply disappointed with where we are right now. I've been told that I voted for a man who said he was going to change things in a meaningful way for the middle class. I'm one of those people, and I'm waiting, sir. I'm waiting. I I don't feel it yet. And I thought, well, it wouldn't be in great measure. I would feel it in some small measure. So many commentators have been excited by saying, oh, man, she put it to the president. But I got a couple issues. She has a job. Her (laughs) husband has a job. Kids in private school. Um... Really, what the hell are you complaining about? I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, somebody had go, somebody has to say that. I get the frustration, but it's a lot different when you don't have a job and you've lost your house and you have to pull your kids out of private school. The president didn't want to say it, but it's part of the problem. There are some people who are expecting a heck of a lot more from him than really what he can deliver. Roland, there are two things, I think. One, people saw they used this picture of this woman, and they didn't say the fact that she was a black woman. His base, okay, black people. Okay, I, I, but wait right. a She's a black woman right. who's a veteran with a job, right. a husband with a job, kids in private school. She was the first one that came out the bed, and then she, she was a dissenter of the, his base is now dissenting. We saw a face of it. But here's the second thing, and it goes to what you were saying. She talked about the change that the president talked about in running for the Oval Office when he was then candidate, and I think it's a psyche problem. The president gave us this idea and gave the American public this idea, I'm going to change. And people thought of him as something extraordinary. And he could never, no matter what he did, reach that unattainable goal. And I think that's a lot of the problem. There is reality here, though. No, no, no. I, I get that. But when the president comes back and says, wait a minute, financial reform, change. Health care, change. Student loan, but do change. But I feel it in my pocket? No, 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 and there are I, a lot I, of student no, loans I, I, that are not able I, I, to get into the pocket. No, I understand. Right I'm, I, look, and I understand her feeling. I'm just making the point that when you stand there, it was different if you say, I had to pull my kids out. I'm just saying, it sounds really like a psyche what, problem. No, it sounds like an no, American but, psyche but it, problem. It, 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 is, it is high expectations, and the expectations are, are, are overblown. Look, look in, in, to ask him in a, in a year and a half, to rebuild what it took Republicans eight years to dismantle is is unfair, is ridiculous, is hypo- hypocritical, it's not going to happen. It took them eight years to tear down this economy, and the idea that, that the president's going to turn it around in a year and a half is insanity. John Stewart even talked about how he, frankly, mm-hmm. is dissatisfied. It- is it simply a question of high expectation, sort of like the team? Everybody said we want you to go undefeated, and they went ten and one, and you madly lost one game. Well, it's high expectations, and it's the failure to communicate. I go back to this issue of the narrative. So, not a failure in policy being passed. That's right. Failure to communicate, communicate. what was passed. That's failure to right. communicate what was passed That's and right. how it's going to impact me. And I'm sorry, she is the wrong messenger. She is a CFO. Absolutely. Take your children right. out of private school. Okay? <laughs> you want some more money? I, Take your children I, I, out of private well, school. I'm Joe, just saying. No, no, she's, you're, you're 100% right. And, and it, you know, it's like the interview I, that I did with the president. He had a line, and he used it later on in the week. They drove this vehicle or this economy right. into a ditch. He used this at the Congressional right, right. Black Caucus. And they sat back and watched us dig it out while they surped on Slurpees or whatever. And now that the economy is out of the ditch, they want the keys back. And we're not going to give them the keys back. If you want to go for it, you put the car right. in D, right. if you, and which is D right. for Democrats. Yeah, yeah, and if you want to go in reverse, you put it in R. That's the way to talk to the American people. That's the way to talk to them. That's the way to talk to them. That's, 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 that's the goal to the roots. But also on the point that I've, we've been saying for longest, we had Sean Donovan, the HUD secretary, on earlier. We've been saying, where's Hilda Solis, labor secretary? You also have to use your team and send them out there to talk to people. He can't and, be the and, only and person communicating. And they don't always have to be in the administration. Absolutely. Absolutely. Absolutely.